Good morning, kids. Welcome to our series, Miracles and More. We are excited to be with you again in our online AKM class today. We are now in Talk 8, entitled, Make Me See. My name is Teacher Grace from Feast PICC AM Session. We hope you are all safe at home with your family and looking forward to hearing our new lesson today. Kindly follow us on Facebook so we can bring our AKM class into your homes. Let us call Teacher Cindy for our opening prayer. Good morning, kids. Let us put ourselves in the presence of God as we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, we praise you, honor you, and adore you. Lord, thank you for the gift of life, the gift of a brand new day. We open our hearts and our minds to another awesome lesson for the day. We ask your Holy Spirit for the wisdom and knowledge to help us understand and live out the lessons today. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Teacher Cindy. Let us now call Martin to lead us in praying the Novena to God's love. Let's all pray the Novena to God's love in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open my, myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I'm God's beloved, I'm God's servant, and I'm God's powerful champion. And because I'm blessed, I'm blessing the world. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. From Talk 7, we learn about the two miracles when Jesus raised the daughter of Jairus and healed the bleeding woman. Let us continue to follow the story of Jesus as Matthew takes us to another story of healing, miracles, and faith. After Jesus left the girl's home, two blind men followed along behind him, shouting, Son of David, have mercy on us. When they called Jesus a son of David, it meant that they were recognizing his kingship. After all, David was a king and the son is the heir to the throne. Jesus is the Messiah, who would restore the sight and free them from bandage. As written in the book of Matthew chapter 9 verses 28 to 29, they went right into the house where he was staying, and Jesus asked them, Do you believe I can make you see? Yes, Lord, they told him. We do. Then he touched their eyes and said, Because of your faith, it will happen. To be blind, then, was a terrible handicap. The religious leaders in the days of Jesus would have accused such handicapped or blind people of being sinners whom God has punished. There are some cases in the Bible where blindness was punishment from God, but it was not the automatic explanation of Christ. Continuing our story, for the two blind men, then their eyes were opened, and they could see. Jesus sternly warned them, don't tell anyone about this. But instead, they went out and spread this fame all over the region. When they left, a demon-possessed man who couldn't speak was brought to Jesus. So Jesus cast out the demon, and then the man began to speak. The crowds were amazed. Nothing like this has ever happened in Israel. They exclaimed, but the Pharisees said, He can cast out demons because he is empowered by the prince of demons. This was taken from the book of Matthew chapter 9 verses 30 to 34. Let us now call teacher Ray to discuss further. The two miracles recorded in the passage reveals the three primary responses to Jesus. First, faith leading to truth. Faith is needed to be able to see. Jesus clearly has the power and the authority to give sight to the blind. 
but he requires that they believe that faith is needed for the two men to be able to see. Second, amazement leading to questions. The crowd thought Jesus was amazing, but the religious leaders questioned where he was getting his authority to heal. And third, unbelief leading to blindness. The religious leaders of great knowledge of the Old Testament called Jesus as the devil. Their knowledge and unbelief lead to their blindness to the truth that Jesus is the Messiah. This leads us to the big message to let God be God. The deeper meaning of the healing of the blind is that Jesus is more concerned with the healing of the spiritual blindness of Israelites rather than the physical blindness. Second is that faith is required to gain sight. The Jesus who healed the blind man is the same Jesus who is present in our life and is healing us today, touching our lives, holding our hands in this long journey that we are going through. We may ask God why we are experiencing all these trials and when will the pandemic end. God is telling you today, son, daughter, be patient. We have a long way to go and we do not have to go alone. For Jesus is with us in this journey. We who received our sight, who believe that Christ is the Son of God, should reveal this through our praise and thanksgiving. Devotion to Christ, a growing spiritual discernment in all things, and public witness to glorify the Lord. Our Catholic Church is not perfect. Just like the two blind men, the Church consists of spiritually blind people in various degrees. The meaning of the word Catholic is all-embracing, and the Catholic Church stands for its meaning. This is a Church that embraces everyone, and together we take our journey with Jesus. Let us now call Teacher Jello to guide us in our activity. Hi kids, this is Teacher Jolo. I hope you're excited for today's activity. We will do Jesus Heal the Blind Man Crab. This crab will help us remember the story of Jesus healing a blind man. On one side of the mask, you have a sad face with bandages on his eyes. This symbolizes the blind man before he was healed. And on the other side, you have a happy face with a big smile who has been healed by miraculous power of Jesus Christ. We need the following materials. Blind man template, the link available below, construction paper, crayons or oil pastel, scissors, popsicle stick or chopsticks, glue. First, we need to print and color the templates. Then, cut out both pieces and the bandages. You will need two bandages. After that, glue each piece on a piece of construction paper. Both pieces of construction paper should be the same. Then, cut out the pieces again, leaving a small border of construction paper. Afterwards, grab the happy face and place it down. Glue on a large popsicle stick of chapsticks for handle. While it is drying, glue the bandages onto the eyes of the sad face. Finally, glue the face to the back of the happy face. The popsicle stick will be sandwiched in between both faces. Hope you like our activity. Take a picture of your work and post it in the comment section of our Facebook page. We would love to see what you did. See you all next Sunday. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for all the things that we learned today. Lord, always fill us with your love. Help us keep our focus on you. May we always see your presence in our daily lives. May we surrender everything to you. We also pray that this pandemic will end soon. 
This we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. On behalf of the servants from AKM 10 to 12 H Group, thank you all sweet kids for joining us. We hope you will connect with us again next Sunday and keep safe.